Well, this will be a pretty quick video. I just want to demonstrate the difference between the framing options you have in Lightburn. One is the extent, I think they call it, and the other one is the rubber band tool. And I get thrown off occasionally when I'm trying to frame up or align text or other objects inside of a slant or of a different angle than straight X and Y. And it throws me off when I go to frame and it looks like everything's lined up, but when I frame it, it looks like I'm going to have a problem. And I just ran into that with a project I was working on for a friend. So I needed to align some text at an angle and when I first framed it I thought oh my gosh I got a problem here and then I realized I didn't because I was using the wrong method for framing. So I just wanted to go through that actual example real quick and thinking it may help someone else if they go to frame something and they can't figure out why they can't get the frame to show them where something's actually going to go. With that, let's get started. I was just working on this wrench and engraving on it and realized that I was trying to line things up and this could be confusion factor for others. So remember this, when you are framing with the square frame in Lightburn, then when the laser head moves, it's moving in an XY pattern not necessarily with whatever it is you're trying to engrave. It's engraving the box XY pattern and it can throw you off. Let me show you what I mean. If you look at the four dots that you see right up here on the light burn screen, you will notice that they are in a straight up and down XY pattern. Let's put a red box over the top of those. So when you go to frame, that's exactly the pattern it's going to follow. But if you look closer at the blue box up here and then the blue box over on the right, you will see the text is slanted to align with the wrench. The goal is to be able to see where the text will really go when you're framing. So instead of using the rectangle frame, you will need to use the oblong frame or the circle frame. I'm not sure what the right term is, but that will actually frame around the direction of the text. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit frame. As you can see, I've got this text frame, and you can see it's at an angle. And watch what it looks like on the actual wrench. Okay, hitting frame now. Now notice how it's coming straight down. It's going to go straight across, and then it's going to go straight up. And you think your engraving is going to go over there off the end of the wrench. That is not what really happens, as you can see where it is engraved. So let me show you the way to test that is to go over to the actual frame of the object. And now you can see it's following along where it's actually engraving. Hope that makes sense. Quick tip. I hope you found this video useful and you know the standard things to do if you do. Give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want to hear other videos like this. I know this was a very simple topic. But I know that every once in a while I run into a brain lapse in thinking why isn't it working when I'm framing it and I realize the reasons I just explained in the video. So I do hope this is helpful to some people that have run across this in the past. Recognize that the speed of the movement when framing is controlled in the move tab. I didn't get into that at all, but if you want to know more about that, give me a comment and I can put something in there about what controls the speed of framing in the software. With that, have a great day. Hope you get out in the shop, make some chips, do some laser engraving, and have some fun with your tools. Take care.